Hey folks, welcome back. In this video we're going to go over three worked examples to show you how to do problems involving Newton's third law. Now if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get into it. Question 1 says to state Newton's third law of motion. Well remember from the notes in the theory video, we have that every action has an equal but opposite reaction, or you can describe it in terms of two objects A and B, and say that if an object A exerts a force on object B, then B exerts an equal but opposite force on A. Question 2 says using Newton's third law of motion, state the action and reaction forces involved in the picture below. So we have a hammer hitting a nail, so let's think about the Newton pair here. So for the action force, we have the force of the hammer on the nail, and then quite simply for the reaction force, we just swap the words round remember so we have the force of the nail on the hammer. And lastly question 3 says using Newton's third law of motion, explain in terms of forces why seat belts are important for car safety. Well we can say that in the event of a crash, the driver or passenger will exert a force on the seat belt, which is the action force, and the seat belt will lock in place to exert a force back on the person, i.e. the reaction force. This allows them to decelerate in a controlled way. So we've talked about our action and reaction forces there, which means we've used Newton's third law of motion to explain in terms of forces here. That's all for this video folks, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.